everybody, Trevor the Pet Guy here, and I just got another question that I'm going to create a video response from via email from my condo association. So this is a fun one. I get to help out the local community. I was doing a little Q&A testing, by the way, on the website, making sure that everything is working properly, and for the most part, things are great. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please visit www.trevorthepetguy.com. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. Check out the questions section. Anything that you have a question about, go ahead and submit it. I'll see it right away and I'll be able to either create a video blog or um, some other response and get back to you as fast as possible that way. So check it out if you haven't. Uh, I know you're going to like it. Anyway, the question at hand is how do I get my dog to stop barking? This came in from our condo association because we're a very dog friendly community around here, of course, and there are a lot of working professionals. So this can create a problem for those of these new members that move into the community and aren't quite aware that it's a dog friendly community, um, aren't friendly towards dog barking in general, things of that nature. It's unfortunate, but um, something that we all have to learn how to deal with. So part of the reason that we're going to spend some time talking about this today is that it's a very complex, but also over time, very easy solution to come across. It's hard because it's basically like telling a human to stop speaking in general. It's how we communicate. It's very difficult to not use speech and language as a way to get what we need and what we want. Um, and also just really relate to other folks in general. So that's essentially what you're asking your dog to do. Now there are some fixes that we can do and that's training them to communicate their needs and desires in a fashion outside of barking. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to share a very common problem that comes in a lot and we'll go from there. What happens is people commonly will give their dog a treat to get it to stop barking. Now, it's only a band-aid solution. Really, you're buying yourself about 15 to 20 minutes of non-barking time. What the dog is doing is saying, okay, well, woof woof, treat appears. So every time I do that, I'm going to get a treat. And we all know how often dogs want treats, so really you're just creating a lifetime problem if you don't solve it. Um, it's a temporary fix, but a lot of work if you keep doing it. So. One of the ways that we can do this um, is a twofold solution here. One, we know the sleeping dog is not a barking dog, so we're going to try and tire our dog as well as train them to ask for a treat in a different way. What you want to do is you want to create a complex um, scenario of whatever tricks your dog knows. So be it sit, lay down, um, speak, stand up, give me paw. Do that in a varying um, rotation with your dog. So, you know, sit, stand up, paw lay down, sit, stand up, paw, lay down. Do this for a while. Eventually you'll notice your dog's getting tired. When they're not barking, remember to keep rewarding them as well as rewarding them for doing the tricks. Not only is it going to reinforce your cool tricks that you've taught them, but it's going to get them to learn that that's how they get the treats. The other thing is when the dog starts barking, obviously do not give it a treat. Once it stops barking, reward it for not barking. Then it might think, okay, the barking's not exactly how I'm going to get treats, so maybe I should do something differently. Also, as a segue into a new video that I'm going to be making, a lot of times barking is a learned behavior while you're not around because you're not there to correct the issue. You're not there to say, no, this is not what you do, and you're not there to reward them for not barking. Uh, this is common in a household where both partners work. So what we're going to do is address the issue in our dog separation anxiety video. It's something that I've been working with our vet friend for a little while. Uh, we've been compiling some information, and we think we've got something good for you, so stay tuned for that. And as always, remember to wag more and bark less. Cheers, guys. Oh, and do not forget, please check out the website. It's really cool, I promise. www.trevorthepetguy.com. Lives a bunch of ways to get in touch with me. Put your questions there. I'll answer them. It's a fabulous website. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time lately working on it, friends and family. So um, feedback is really, 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 really appreciated, though. I want to give you guys what you want, um, something that's helpful. So anything that you notice that isn't comfortable or doesn't work right or isn't exactly what you want, please let me know. Whatever it is, feedback, you know, even if I don't like the color green, whatever, send it my way. Anyway, thanks again. Until next time, cheers, guys. Bye-bye.